You don't know me, I don't know you. That's what we tell ourselves inside of a little head. That was really in a very, very um, early stage in my life when I decided that I wanted to sing, that I wanted to be successful and that I wanted to be famous, because it's fun to be famous, believe me. This was my concept of my life and this was my goal that I wanted to achieve and I always, I just work like that. You know, I have this, I have a goal, I want to have a Grammy, I'm a singer, so obviously that's the thing that I want to achieve. And all of, in every episode of my life, I, I reacted like that. I had this goal, I had the vision, and I was going for it, without any, you know, excuses. It's so much fun for me to be on stage, to sing out my heart, to do a catwalk, to do a photo shoot. It's just to me really that what I wanted to do so badly. And I think because I can enjoy it so much because I have a true private life. Because without the wig and without the lashes, nobody would recognize me and I can do whatever I want. You know, I have a normal life. I do my laundry, I do the dishes, I go to the grocery store, I take the bus, the underground, I just do what, you know, what we all have to do in our everyday life. And on the other side, I get the glamour and the glitz and the fairy tale world. And this is just truly fun to me. Sometimes you just gotta leave. It starts with authenticity and just believing in yourself and creating your kind of truth. And this is what I did, you know, I, I didn't know if this could ever turn out well, but I couldn't care less at the beginning because it was just fun to me. It was, I felt comfortable, I felt this persona that I always wanted to be on stage or in the public eye. And this all of a sudden, with many, many years of, of working and, and trying out things, it just happened that I had this chance to go to Eurovision. Sure, because of the look, because of my voice, because of the song. So all these things came together and I had luck that I, that I had so many people um, believing in me, you know, and I really appreciate that. So for me, it's, it's basically, I don't really think about could this end or not. I just know that I need to be happy and whatever Whatever life comes up with, I, I know how to deal with it and I know how to, to remain happy. I created this record in a very selfish way because I wanted to entertain myself. And like we all, we have so many aspects and so many different sides in our life that it's not always about trying to make the world a better place. Sometimes it's just about singing how I'm hurt that he lost, left me standing alone in the rain. When it comes to the book, I have to be completely honest, it was not love at first sight. Because I won Eurovision and um, the publisher came up to me and asked me if I want to write a book about my story. And I said, uh, well, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm just 26 years old, that's way too early to, to write down your memoirs. Um, but they forced me to think about it and I said, well, if we want to release a book about myself, it needs to be a book that I would buy my own. And books that I buy are featuring many pictures. So that's what I did in this book also. I told my story in four days to my ghostwriter. And he did such an amazing job in just getting a chance to watch your whole life, you know, in, in such a short amount of time. I learned so many things about myself, so that um, today, just beyond proud and happy to have this book now released in six languages, which is just enormously great, and I'm very thankful for that. You are